In this video, you will see the modeling of hash and damage model in 3D continuum element using three subroutines, UMAT, ViewMAT, and USDFLD. So be with us till the end. Hello Abacus users, hope you're doing well. Here we intend to explain the UMAT subroutine, which is written based on the hashing criterion. But first, let's see the article on which the subroutine is written based on it. The title of this article is Finite Element Modeling of Damage Accumulation in Bolted Composite Joints Under Incremental Tensile Loading. The authors are Kermanidis and his associates. Now, if you read the article and scroll down, you can see the hashing criteria for damage initiation for the 3D continuum element on page 4. These criteria and their equations divide into several types. The first two equations are for the matrix in tensile and compression loading conditions, respectively. The next two are for the fiber in tensile and compression loading conditions, respectively. Number 5 is for fiber matrix shear out damage. And the last two are for delamination damage in tensile and compression respectively. Now if the damage initiation occurs in our composite model based on any of these criteria, the material properties are degraded. This degradation will happen suddenly and we want to use standard solver, which could cause convergency issues. The article presents four rules for applying material degradation. The first rule says that once the damage occurs in the matrix, either in a tensile or compressive state, the matrix cannot carry any load. So Young's modulus in the matrix and Poisson's ratio in the matrix and fiber plane equals zero. Remember, we cannot set these two parameters to zero in the subroutine. Because if we do, the stiffness matrix will have a zero amount, which causes an error in solving the problem. So the zero amount means that the parameters will decrease to a very small amount. The next rule implies that if the damage is detected in fiber, whether in a tensile or compressive state, these parameters here will be zero. The final two rules are for the fiber matrix shear out and delamination damages. All these models are in fiber direction and in compression state. The USDFLD hashing model. And finally, the VUMAT hashing model. To see all the results together, we need to create some viewports. After that, click on the Tile Vertically option. See, all results are in one window. Now we're just going to set things up to know which one is for what model. As you see, stress results are almost equal. Now let's see the values of the damage criteria in all results. The first two are almost equal to 0.28, which is for the Abacus models. We need to check the SDV6 variable for subroutine models to see the results in the fiber direction and compression state. As you see, all results are almost the same, which is good. Let's see the results in the matrix direction and tension state. Same procedure as before.
The stress results are almost equal. But let's see the results of the damage criteria. The first two are for Abacus models. We need to check the SDV7 variable in subroutine models because we want to see the results in the matrix direction and tension state. See, the results are almost the same. This means the subroutines are working correctly. Final note. When we are dealing with damage, increase the loads a little to see if the subroutine works correctly. You may encounter convergence issues in the standard solver, which you need to deal with. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have received the items that you're looking for in this package. Follow us on our social page and website. Have a nice day. Hope to see you again. Hello everybody and welcome to our new video training package of Abacus. Simulation of composite hash and damage in 3D continuum element in Abacus, UMAT, UMAT, US, DFLD. This package includes these sections. Introduction, workshop part, workshop part 1. Simulation of composite hash and damage in 3D continuum element in Abacus with UMAT. Workshop part 2. Simulation of composite hash and damage in 3D continuum element in Abacus with UMAT Workshop Part 3. Simulation of composite hash and damage in 3D continuum element in Abacus with USDFLD. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it will be useful for you.